So I love the restaurant, obviously. We take my family there uh, and where we live often. Um, I worry about the sustainability of the model, which is that, one, I don't know if there's enough barn, born, barn board in the world to build, uh, you know, to expand infinitely. Um, but, but also, um, how much can you continue growing? How much of an appetite is there for this very specific model of Brooklyn chic high-end burgers? Uh, we always, uh, the way I always envision it is, you know, this might sound uh, not a huge number, but 100 restaurants I always felt was like a good solid number for us. 100 restaurants okay. where we can open up in probably the, uh, the best cities in the country and hopefully in the world. That, that has always been our target. I, I, we, we don't have a brand or a company that can be on every corner in every location just because, because of our price point uh, pretty much. Right. Your price, actually, that, that's exactly what I want to talk to you about because your average customer spend is about how much? It's about $18, give or take. You know, a hamburger, fries, and a milkshake and a soda is going to run you $17, $18. Okay, so $18. So at a quick service restaurant, i.e. a McDonald's, the average spend there is $5.30. So we're talking about a third a of, third, what, yeah. of yeah. what you just mm -hmm. said. And, you know, Brendan, you know, I see this picture of your yeah. kids uh, at a Bear Burger. Well, those kids maybe 20 years ago uh, would have been at a McDonald's, right? So I, I can tell you exactly. It cost me $98 yesterday. $98. Okay, well. so, so, so <laughs> you, would you. Never <laughs> you would never spend that at a McDonald's. I, and, and I'm not saying that Bear Burger, uh, with all due respect, is going to put McDonald's down or bring down McDonald's, but it's almost as if there's, it's like death by a thousand cuts, right? I mean, there's going to be several Bear Burgers and other ch smaller chains that, that present gourmet food uh, that is going to, that, that eventually is undercutting McDonald's business model, right? Absolutely. And, you know, I think, like you said, we'll put a small, very, very, very minuscule dent in what McDonald's does and Wendy's and Burger King and, and all the big, I, I call them the big players in, in the burger world. Uh, I think they need to be more concerned about guys like Danny Meyer and Shake Shack because mm -hmm. he's competing directly with them, in, especially with his price point. You can, I mean, I was just in one of his restaurants the other day, and a burger, fries, and a soda was $11, about double of what you would pay in McDonald's. And people are, are it's a testament to our business, people are willing to pay a premium for a better product. Plain Younger and simple. people, yeah. Does it make sense to you, Euripides, that, that uh, Shake Shack could be worth a billion dollars? Uh, the He's hoping, yes. Yeah. Sure. He wants his to be worth. So through September, right, uh, they were on a run rate to generate about $112 million a year in revenue. Mm -hmm. Now, they may be growing faster than that, but let's just say that it's $112 million. At a billion dollars, they'd be trading at more than eight times revenue, mm -hmm. which is like tech land, right? Yeah, I think... This, there's, uh, there are only two companies in America, restaurant companies, that I could find, Eat at Joe's and Pollo Loco, okay. that trade at that level. Everything else is below it. I think it's if you put it on paper today, it might not have a billion dollar valuation. The future of, of that brand and uh, sort of the cult following that that brand has built in the last 10 years, I, I, it's almost Chipotle-like. Uh, sort of the, you can go any day in Madison Square Park and there's 700 people waiting online to get a burger. Where else do you see that? So I think that sort of future that they have and don't get me wrong, they, they pick the best real estate in the world. I've been to some of their restaurants in uh, overseas as well. They tend, not tend, they always grab the best real estate. And that's a whole other part of this equation that a lot of people really, you the know, Starbucks. Love, love into. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. All Being right. on the right corner factor. Well, I'll have to try one of these Bear Burgers. I, I do recommend I'll have them. to tag along <laughs> to one of your family trips.